Our next guest is building positive, strong communities, one child, one educator, one parent at a time. She is Dr. Eve Goldstein, joining me this morning from Los Angeles. She's a licensed clinical psychologist and learning disability specialist. What great qualifications to talk about this topic. Doctor, how are you this morning? I'm great. Thanks so much for having me today. Absolutely. Well, we're well into the school year. The holidays are in front of us now. And now that we've settled all the kids back into school, um, tell me what you think are some of the key concerns that you're hearing from parents, students, and teachers. Great. Thanks so much for that question. So um, I think the biggest question that we have right now is how are we gonna make up a lot of lost learning? We know that the national report card that came out last week showed us that there have been losses in math and reading as a result of disrupted learning. Um, we also know mm. that parent burnout is quite high as uh, mental health issues are soaring with children. Uh, prior to the pandemic, it was one in five children who were struggling with a sense of loneliness, anxiety, depression. Now it's one in three. And uh, we also know that teachers are really struggling in the classroom. In fact, 55% of all uh, teachers, according to the National Education Association, uh, are wanting to leave the profession early. So we have a mm. big task in front of us, which is to really help support our youth in terms of their learning and their mental health, to help support parents in terms of their uh, anxieties, their burnout, and also really to help teachers so that they feel impassioned and empowered to really make a difference in the classroom. I tell you what, just just hearing you share that, I, I tell you, it's I felt like a weight. It's a lot, you know. So you're talking about students and kids who are struggling. We know that, but then their support systems, their parents and their teachers are really you know absolutely overburdened and struggling as well so you you have an organization uh tell me a little bit about it and what it is that you're doing to actively support these issues right so um we developed the child parent educator collective and this is really an initiative to bring support from the community into teachers students and parents by educating them on life skills related to empowering one another, effective communication, building self-esteem, things like uh, goal setting and time management. It's really built on a skills-driven learning. And we know that research has shown with these skills that people feel more mindful, empowered, that uh, performance in school improves and positive attitudes about homework and uh, capabilities for learning are all available through these skills. Well, I love that you're focusing on these skills that are super proactive and positive. Um, if we want to find some of these tips on how to help parents, teachers, and, and our kids, where can we find them? Uh, our website is cpecollective.com, and you can go on there. We have tons of tips. We have some great blogs. And just remember that if you get involved as a parent in the school system, your community grows, and it really does take a village to help support one another and make a difference. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us from Los Angeles this morning. A really positive message, and I know here in the Las Vegas Valley, uh, we could really use that kind of thinking, cpecollective.com. Uh, you can find uh, some of the things we discussed there, some great ideas with Dr. Eve Goldstein. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take care.